Welcome back to another video, YouTube. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Wendell Well Services coming back at you for a topic I uh, really don't like to bring up a whole lot, uh, but it's a uh, issue that does come up, and that's the idea behind a uh, low yield well. Um, what is low yield well? What are your options? So, um, just kind of getting started here. The low yield wells typically uh, talking about wells that have flow rates of two gallons a minute or less in it. Um, you know, two gallons a minute, that doesn't sound like a lot. Um, it, it is an ideal. Uh, when you start doing the math on that, it kind of uh, presents a little bit of a better picture. Um, two gallons a minute times 60 gallons an hour, or 60 minutes an hour, that's 120 gallons an hour, uh, 24 hours in a day. You're talking uh, somewhere around 2,800 gallons uh, per day available. Um, so that's still a uh, quite a bit amount of water that uh, if you have a well that's doing two gallons a minute you can use. Um, you start getting lower than that though it uh, drops off drastically. Um, you know one gallon a minute you know you're looking at 1400 gallons of water somewhere around there uh, available per day. Um, you know half a gallon a minute 700, 720 gallons of water a day. Uh, a quart a minute or one fourth of a gallon a minute you know, you're talking about 360 gallons of water available per day. Um, obviously, those are not ideal, um, but there are options out there for you to use. Um, you know, a lot of people consider a dry hole uh, being a well, you know, less than two gallons a minute. Now, obviously, uh, these are not uh, desired options, um, but if you're talking, you know, a family of four, a uh, person, average person uses about 100 to 120 gallons a day. Um, you know, four people in the house, you're talking 500 gallons a day, 480 gallons a day, um, which a half a gallon a minute will fill up over a day and, and provide that. Now, will it provide that all at once? No. Um, so where, where you kind of have to look at your options are is, you know, you kind of have to consider, okay, how deep is my well? A, a six inch uh, rock well has about 1.5 gallons per foot of storage in it. So if, if you've got a static water level, meaning the water level below the ground where the water stops rising to, if you've got a static water level of 50 feet and you've got a well that's drilled to 600 feet, you've got 550 feet of storage in that well of water column. Uh, with a gallon and a half per foot, you've got, just kind of doing the math off of my head here, uh, you've, got, you've got over 800 gallons of water uh, available just in storage. Um, so, you, you know, the, the amount of storage you have in the well, which is the water column in the well, you know, as you start pumping it down, yes, you're pumping the well down faster than what the well can fill back up. But it's, it's essentially u utilizing the same concept of a storage tank, uh, but instead of having a storage tank above the ground, your storage tank is below the ground. Um, you know, again, you've got to have enough flow coming in. Um, there's no other way around that. Um, you know, you start getting in the quarter minute, pie in a minute range, uh, you know, it's situation's going to be iffy at best. Um, but I will say there have been uh, situations, and I'm not going to be the only well drilling contractor say this, um, but there have been areas where, you know, customers don't have any other option, and their option is to use a well that has a half a gallon a minute or a quarter of a gallon a minute or a, a, a quarter of a gallon a minute. And um, you know it's 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 working for them. And is it ideal? No, um, but it's better than just uh, abandoning a hole and uh, starting over. If if you've got a little bit there to work with, um, so not trying to sit out there and tell you that uh, I wish this upon every customer because I don't. Uh, I wish every customer would have a 200 foot well and about 15 to 20 gallons a minute. Because uh, if every customer out there had that, um, quite frankly, city water wouldn't be around. Uh, city water would be gone. And uh, everybody would have wells, which would make every well drilling contractor in the world happy. 
Um, but that's not reality. Uh, Mother Nature's different. Every well's different. And uh, these situations do occur. Um, so just trying to get you, I guess, just to kind of think about what you have. Uh, you know, one gallon a minute may not sound like a lot. Um, but if you've got the proper setup, um, you know, protection on your pump where something happens, if you have a leak, you're not going to burn your pump up. If you've got enough storage in the well, um, you know, you can, you can make it work. Um, so just want to throw that out there uh, if you're I'm gonna make some more videos about uh, some instances where we've had to make this work uh, there's also um, another uh, guy on YouTube that has a video that's quite interesting um, his YouTube video is uh, if if there's a well there's a way uh, his YouTube channel is engineer 775 uh, go check that video out um, neat little video about setting a pump in a well uh, 600 feet deep and uh, he's utilizing a well that people deemed obsolete and not able to use. Um, I think the well was doing, if I'm referring to his video right, is doing about 300 gallons a day, uh, which is about a quarter minute or a little less than a quarter minute. So uh, just some pretty neat options out there. Um, you know, now is the well a neat option because it's doing a quarter or a half or one gallon a minute? No. Um, but still, it's better than just, you know, spending eight to nine thousand dollars on a well and, uh, you know, not being able to use it for a house. So, uh, you know, ultimately it's got to be the right option for you, the customer. Um, you know, is it going to be able to work? If you're wanting to irrigate or do any, you know, any more than just household use, it's probably not going to work. Um, but, you know, you would be surprised at what a, what a half a gallon a minute will, will feed. Um, you know, based on 120 gallons uh, a day that a person uses, you know, a half a gallon a minute will supply uh, about somewhere around five to six people uh, per day. So, uh, again, don't like to bring this up because um, I don't wish that upon anybody. Uh, I wish all wells were, uh, you know, shallow and producing a lot of water. But just wanted to know. Just wanted to let y'all know that there are options out there for low yield wells. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check out more of our videos. Uh, be sure to check out uh, if there's a well, there's a way. Um, that's a video uh, brought brought to you by uh, Engineer Seven Seven Five. Uh, it's a neat little video um, about options that can be done with low yield wells. So thanks for watching. Check us out WindleyWellServices.com and uh, be sure to stay tuned for more videos coming up in the future. Appreciate it.